Man's best friend has been helping us for centuries. Today on The Pulse, I'm joined by Jennifer Pekarek from Salina Regional Health Center to talk about the Therapy Dog Program. First of all, Jennifer, tell us about our, our guests here um, and a little bit about their training and the, the uh, Therapy Dog Program at Salina Regional. Today we have two dogs with us. Um, we actually have three at Salina Regional Health Center. And, um, but the ones that we have today, this is Phil. Phil is um, a Chesapeake Bay Retriever and he works primarily on an outpatient basis with one of the other nurse practitioners. And then Louise is, um, she is an English lab and she is my dog. Uh, she works primarily with me, both on inpatient as well as outpatient basis. And about the program at Salina Regional? The, the program we have, um, like I said, we have three service dogs um, and we use them in both the inpatient as well as the outpatient setting. We see children, adults, we see all different types of um, different mental health issues and we use them with pretty much everything. I know just having pets, you know, is really good for the health. And I recently I saw a study um, that it really, it helps us age better and helps us be healthier. Um, are you seeing the same thing? Absolutely, I've seen that across the board. Many articles talk about how the, um, the dogs, just in petting a dog, it helps release different neurotransmitters such as serotonin and oxytocin. That help just with our mood and give us kind of a sense of well-being. Um, and we've seen that over and over again in so many cases where the dogs just provide so much comfort and help prevent loneliness and really are a wonderful tool to use in, in helping relate to patients and helping, helping them manage their mental health issues. How about some success stories using, using the dogs? We've see, seen a lot. Uh, on the inpatient basis, um, I've come across many patients that won't even get out of bed, yet if I bring the dog in with me, they are, they'll jump up and they'll certainly come to groups and participate a lot more if the dog is involved. Um, and with kids, over and over again, I've, I've had it where the children won't even talk to me. However, if the dog is in the room, they will respond completely differently with the dog. Um, we have dealt with a lot of cases of PTSD and um, certainly on the inpatient side of things, I've taken the dog into different um, different cases where the it, it, it just she works as a wonderful calming agent. Um, sometimes I'll just leave Louise in with the patient for a couple of you know half an hour to an hour and um, it's amazing the effect that she has. It just calms the person down and they respond just as well to the dogs, if not better to the dogs as they do to medication. It's, it's a wonderful thing to see. Thank you all for being on the show. You're welcome. For more information on behavioral health services, please visit shc.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.